Here are the top 5 plugins that will improve your web design. This list is based on our personal experience from working on numerous projects. These plugins are very simple to use and today we'll create some amazing designs with them very quickly. Plugin number 1. Isometric. By using this plugin you can easily create isometric illustrations, similar to those from Raycast website or ISA icons collection, directly in Figma. To get started, just create a new frame and make it into a component, duplicate it by pressing Command plus C and then Command plus V. Select instance of the component, open isometric plugin and choose the direction. Now our main component is connected to its isometric instance. We can draw on the left component and it will automatically update on the isometric instance to the right. The main advantage here is that you don't need to work directly with the noisy 30 degree isometric grid. Instead, you can draw everything flat using 45 degree angles which are much easier to create by holding shift while using the line tool. It's that simple. After that, it's all about practice and your own imagination. For the Diskit example and for all other practical demos in this video, you can find Figma files in the link provided in the description. There are many more videos coming soon from our team. If you'd like to support this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button on this video. Plugin number 2. Looper Legacy. This plugin is especially handy in the era of AI apps, where everyone is trying to create their own version of Siri Blob. We'll create one too. Start with a simple ellipse, remove its fill and add a stroke. Then open Looper Legacy plugin. This plugin can generate multiple iterations of your shape by rotating, scaling or changing the position of each new instance, creating super interesting effects. The results can be hard to predict, so I recommend experimenting with different values. Even just by multiplying an ellipse we can get some very interesting results with some default settings. But we will go with something like this. You could leave it as this for a minimalistic look. But let's take it further by combining it with another plugin, Blobs. Before we move on, let's add some color to our shape. We'll use masks. If you're unsure how masks work, check out our Figma mask tutorial. Essentially, we will use looper shape as a mask. Then create multiple ellipses with different colors, layer blur and sometimes overlay blend mode. Next, we'll create a nice center part. Open Blobs plugin and choose a shape you like. Apply plus lighter blend mode to achieve a nice light effect. We'll use blue purple color and add layer blur. Then just duplicate this shape multiple times within a group. Adjusting position, size, rotation or color as needed. With this same technique we can highlight parts of the background. For even better results copy and paste the entire looper group. Then change the stroke size of ellipses by applying stroke to the group. Scale it up a bit more and add some blur. Finally, apply an overlay blend mode to that blur shape. See how much better it looks with just a few simple tweaks. It blends smoothly into the background. I can't wait to see what you create using these techniques. Feel free to mention me on social media with your results and I will try to share some feedback. Plugin number 4. Perspective Toolkit. This plugin lets you easily adjust the perspective of any image or layer. Just move sliders until you find the desired look and then apply it to your image. We covered this in detail in our Banta Cards video, where we created an Apple-style gallery Banta Card. By adding a few extra colorful shadows to the background and beneath the cards, we achieved a very professional-looking design. Plugin number 5. Noise and Textures by Roger. Using this plugin, you can quickly add interesting noise patterns or even some animated versions to your designs. Combine it with the techniques we discussed in our textures video and you can create a beautiful card in almost no time. Add noise to a card, use it as a mask and bring multiple ellipses with different background fields and layer blurs. A big thanks to Roger, who pointed out that some functionality of the Pattern Hero plugin can be replaced by noise and texture too. By clicking on this little image icon, you can create a pattern from your own layer. Then adjust settings like size, amount, rotation and opacity. I hope you enjoyed this video. These 5 Figma plugins are ones we often use when designing websites. And they can definitely add extra flavor to your work. The techniques we've shown are very simple and require a minimum amount of time. That's it for now. See you in the next one.